All right, guys. Uh, out here on the Cadillac. I couldn't get the AC to come on. It was on earlier, and then it just stopped working. Unfortunately, while it was running, the AC on, I ended up touching the front of the compressor with it running like a dummy. It almost cut my fingers off. Well, I ain't going to say almost cut them off, but it hurt. Uh, anyway, so I got this board tapped on it, whatever. Followed the instructions on the can. I got about a can worth in. Now we're back. This is your low, sir, low pressure service port on a 91 Cadillac 90, 91, 92. Find this up by the firewall. That's your high pressure port. High pressure port lines always skinnier. The low pressure lines always bigger. Of course, that's common sense, but I didn't know that until I did some research. So now we got it. I put this can in. This is uh, 18 ounces. It's got kind of sealants and stuff all in it. Long story short, got it up and going here. The AC was blowing cold, but I noticed it red lights and uh, <clears throat> they say open all your car doors and make sure it's on recirculation. Make sure it's on recirculation, which I don't have that in here. Uh, but they say make sure all your car doors are open. You got it on high. But yeah, it's blowing colder sitting still because it had got to where it was warm at red lights. Uh, warm in traffic. Then it'd go cold when I'd give it gas. Now I'm sure that happens something to do with electrical and, you know, your voltage and stuff. And it helps out to have more voltage going to the AC. But it still should have been blowing cold in my opinion from what I know which ain't a lot it should have been blowing cold while it was idling so anyway right now it seems to be doing good my compressor let's see if it cuts off off let's see if it comes back on yep back on so i don't know if it was froze up or if it was because it was low on freon the compressor on this car wouldn't come on or what if it wasn't picking up or what Yep, back on again. I heard it click in. So we're all good. Let's give it a little gas. Oh, it is blowing ice cold now. Wow, that is very cold. All right, great. See what kind of pressure we got here on the gauge. I can see it's uh, draining right, draining properly. It's putting out, that's for sure. We're at uh, perfect here. Got the whole can to go in. Since I finally found this, make sure if you buy a can of this stuff, you look, this will be on there. You got to unscrew this. And this would be under there stopping you from using it. And that's what I've been doing with it for two months. So now I got it charged up. I got another pound in here. I got to do it on the SS Impala this week. But yeah, we're all good. Make sure we get every last drop. There we go. And I'm going to save this. So what I'll do here is just. Reusable gauge. Make sure you locate your low pressure service port. Not your high pressure. The low pressure line will be bigger than the high pressure. The high pressure line smaller. See, that's for the high pressure. Let's go with the low. Low pressure. Twist that back on there. We're all set, love. It's been a while since I posted a video. Good to see everybody.
Peace.